Reward for the return of precious artwork stolen from a Boston museum is back, and it's as big as ever. The Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum is now extending the $10 million reward that expired at the end of last year. And as WBZ's Paula Eben explains, investigators could be closer to solving the greatest art heist ever. They're some of the most valuable paintings in the world. Vermeer's The Concert, Rembrandt's Christ in the Storm on the Sea of Galilee, and Degas leaving the paddock. But in 1990, two thieves disguised as Boston police officers stole those pieces of art and 10 others, making it the largest art heist in history. The masterpieces are worth more than $500 million. I really do think we're moving the ball downfield. Anthony Amore is the Gardner's director of security. He says when the museum doubled the reward last year to $10 million, it helped. We received a, a real outpouring of information from people in the public that has prompted us to say we should extend this because it, it, it was productive in getting people to uh, try to help us. Empty frames where the paintings once hung are still a reminder of the loss at the museum. Without giving details, authorities have said they know who the thieves were and that they are dead. But that hasn't led them to the artwork. Only new information can do that. We are looking for 13 needles in a haystack. In everything we do, all the work we do, uh, even when we eliminate bad leads, we're making the haystack smaller. So, if you have any information that can help, go to our website, cbsboston.com, and we'll tell you the best way to contact the museum. David? Pretty expensive needles <laughs> in that haystack. Thank you, Paul.